Well, hello. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And uh, we're continuing here at the, the village of Park Gate. And I have a gentleman here who's going to talk to us. Hello, sir. And who are you? Hello. Uh, my name's Bremner, Leslie Bremner. And um, what do you do? I'm actually a member of the committee here. I'm also a member of Health and Safety. That's the church here at the Second Presbyterian uh, Donny Gore yes, at Park Gate. and I do search and rescue with my two dogs. Oh, could you tell us about the search and rescue then, you do? Search and rescue, uh, these animals... So that's the dogs here then? Yes, Jesus. What are these dogs? Two German Shepherds. And what do you call this one? This is Lizzie. Hello, Lizzie. She knows her name. And what do you call this one here? This is Meg. Ma Ma Meg? Meg, M-E-G. Hello, Meg. She knows her name too. She's coming over to me. And they're very friendly. And have you rescued m many people with these dogs then? Yes, this, the, the old one now, I think, this is her six rescue. Ah, you're joking? Yeah. Like, so they're really lifesavers then? They're lifesavers and we're very, very busy at the minute. Where would you do th this then? We do what they call the lowlands. Uh huh. Where's not, that now? Not the mountains. Mountain rescue have their own yes. rescue. We do everything else. Uh, towns, countries. So if somebody's lost anywhere in the town or anywhere in the country, basically, you yes. go out to try and find them with the dogs. We go out and find them. With and them. you were telling me earlier that it's a wee bit harder for the dogs to pick up the scent now because of the different aftershaves and perfumes and deodorants then that people use. Is that true? Yes, that... yes, but because uh, the German shepherds there, with the sort of next door to the wolf. Yes. Uh, they're nearly the best. They don't even need scents. They could pick you up. Oh, is that right? Where you want to be found or not. Aye. But it's harder if uh, for our other search and rescue dogs then is it for if, you know, there's other fragrances Aye. that they can yes. smell. Is that the uh, way it works? Very, it doesn't give them a chance at all. Like. Aye. Well, that's fantastic. And they're, they're definitely very friendly. Where's that wee one? Is that the oldest one? That's the oldest one. And he's taking a wee break. That's what I was saying. Oh, she, she sits from my side. All and he's only a pup, this one. She so was... he's going to be taken over from Lizzie? Yes. Or yes. she, should I say? Lizzie's le learning for the ropes at the minute. Very good. I think she's looking at the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's coming to work for a wee smell. <laughs> well, thanks very much. What did you say your name was again, sir? Leslie. Leslie. Well, thanks very much, Leslie. Um, I have to say you're the first res uh, search and rescue uh, person that I have interviewed. And right. certainly that was great. But what uh, do you have your own company or do you work for a company or what way no, does it work? I have my own company. It's called Emergency Medical Response. Emergency Medical Response. Yes. That's fantastic. Well, thanks very much thank and you, God thank, bless. Thank you, Mark. So there you go. What did you think of that, ladies and gentlemen? So if you're if you're ever lost, then certainly give him a wee ring and he'll come and get you with Meg and his other wee dog as well. The two German Shepherds. So thanks very much and God bless.